Chapter 9, Mouse Scouts to the Rescue I've got a saver, Violet thought. She started pulling at the steel wool with her hands, but it was sharp and prickly, and there was just too much of it. It's no use, Violet cried. I can't do this myself. But Tiger Lily would know what to do. It was almost time for Mouse Scout, the Mouse Scout meeting. Hopefully Tiger Lily would be on her way there. Violet dashed out the door. Tiger Lily was almost at Violet's front door. She just had walked, had to talk to Violet before the Mouse Scout meeting. She was trying to think of what to say when Violet came running around a corner and crashed into her. Violet! Tiger Lily cried. I was just coming to find you. I'm sorry. There's no time for that now, Violet interrupted. Miss Pansy is in trouble. We've got to save her. Violet explained to Tiger Lily about the steel wool. Tiger Lily thought hard. She didn't have any of her emergency tools with her. Even her pockets were empty. Tiger Lily knew enough about steel wool to know that she and Violet were no match for it. Violet, we're going to need more help. Let's go find the other scouts. They started running to the left meadow elementary school when BAM! Tiger Lily crashed into Thorn. Violet was right behind him. Violet was right behind Tiger Lily and BAM! She crashed into Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily, Thorn cried. Where did you run off to? I thought we were going to the meeting. Follow us, Tiger Lily interrupted. We need more help. The three scouts ran to the Left Meadow Elementary School. When they got there, they found a standoff. Hyacinth, Petunia, Junebug, and Cricket were blocking the entry to the Left Meadow Elementary School cafeteria. Each scout was holding one of the signs they had made in the park. Facing them were five Maple Scouts. Hyacinth began chanting, Hey, hey, ho, ho, Maple Scouts have got to go, and the other acorns joined in. The Maple Scouts shouted back, Ho, ho, hey, hey, Maple Scouts are here to stay. Excuse me, everyone, Violet said, but no one was listening. She tried again and even waved her arms, but they all kept shouting. Times of emergency call for emergency measures, Tiger Lily said. She took out her emergency whistle and put it to her mouth. Creet! Everyone stopped chanting and turned to Tiger Lily. We need help, Tiger Lily ex explained the situation. But what can we do, asked Hyacinth. Steel wool is almost impossible to deal with. We can't chew it, and it is too sharp and prickly to pull with our hands. We're just little mice after all. Thorn walked over and stood next to Tiger Lily. Of course we can help, he said. If we all work together, we can do anything. We're more than mice. We're mouse scouts. The or acorn scouts looked at him in awe. He sounded just like Tiger Lily. Thorn is right, said Tiger Lily. It doesn't matter if you're an acorn or a maple. We're all mouse scouts, and we all have a job to do. The six acorn scouts and the six maple scouts ran back to the house with Tiger Lily, Thorn, and Violet leading the way. When they got to the house, they squeezed under the front door and raced to the living room. Violet showed them the steel wool, and they got to work. They started to tug at the steel wool, but it was too difficult. Tiger Lily took off her neckerchief and wrapped it around her hands, which made it easier to pull at the wool. Thorn took off his cap and used it as a glove. He and Tiger Lily worked hard, but the steel wool was not budging. Violet looked at Thorn and then looked at the protest signs. She picked one up and ripped the sign from the toothpick it was taped on. Then, using the toothpick, she started to pry at the steel wool. Hyacinth and Petunia did the same. It's getting looser, said Cricket. Watch out for your eyes, cried Junebug. A scratch from the metal could cause permanent damage. Not to worry, said one of the other ma maple scouts. He grabbed the paper from the sign and quickly fashioned some visors. Junebug gazed at him in amazement as he handed them out. She had no idea that maple scouts could be so safety-minded. Two more maple scouts joined in, pushing at the steel wool from the side. They heard a horrible scratchy scraping noise and finally the steel wool gave way. The mouse scouts cheered. When they finally stopped cheering, it was very quiet, too quiet. Were they too late? Was Miss Pansy even there? All 12 scouts held their breath until Miss Pansy peeked around the doorway. For a moment, Violet was afraid that she would yell at them, but then Miss Pansy smiled and smiled broadly. My heroes, if there weren't so many of you, I'd invite you all in for cookies and tea, she said. Thank you, Miss Pansy, Tiger Lily answered. But now that you're safe, we've got to be going. We are late for our Mouse Scouts meeting. At that, Miss Pansy got a dreamy look in her eyes. I remember my Scout Mouse Scout days, some of the happiest times in my life. 
Miss Pansy, Violet asked. Would you like to come to our celebration of friendship? I would love to, said Miss Pansy. Meanwhile, in the basement of the Left Meadow Elementary School, Miss Poppy paced back and forth. She knew the acorns were not happy with the idea of working with the Maple Scouts. Well, she thought, I will just have to talk to them about opening their minds and being accepting of others. She steeled herself and looked at the clock. But if they are much later, she thought, I may just have to send them back to Buttercups, and I'll make sure it is straight back to Dandelions for those Maple Scouts. Just then, the Acorn Scouts and the Maple Scouts all tumbled into the Left Meadow Elementary School basement together. And every single one of them was laughing as if they had been friends forever. Miss Poppy blew her emergency whistle and with the slightest of smiles said, Quiet Scouts, we have a celebration to plan. Mouse Scouts Handbook, the Kindness Challenge. Kindness is one of the most important virtues a Mouse Scout can have. Sometimes it is easy to be kind and sometimes it takes just a little bit of effort. Having a kindness challenge is a fun way to understand the importance and benefits of kindness. Here's how it works. Designating a week for your kindness challenge. Ask your fellow scouts to commit themselves to performing at least one kind deed every day. It may be as simple as helping another mouse pick up some sunflower seeds she had dropped. It might be a greater kindness, such as helping someone out of a tough situation. Of course, you may always do more than one kind thing in a day, but that does not mean you may skip the next day. Keep track of your kind acts by making a chart. At the end of your kindness challenge week, scouts may bring their charts to their mouse scout meeting and share them. You will no doubt be impressed and inspired by all of the kind things your fellow mouse scouts have done. Being kind to others not only brightens their day, it can also open the door to friendship.